Remember, I started the lesson with that recording, but we can have this. Then the other part is Cynthia, today you have been dormant, you have not reminded me. Okay. Then the other thing is that the intensity also can be increased with the applied voltage across the tube since the applied voltage increases the energy in which the electrons hit the target and increasing the x-rays so so when you increase the ap applied voltage what is that applied voltage uh, that applied voltage is the one which i was talking about in this in this video here this point here we are seeing this so this is this is the applied voltage they are saying high pd this one here once you increase this high pd it means that the electrons are going to move fast. Their kinetic energy is going to increase. There's a question that they ask. State the ways how kinetic energy of the electrons can be increased. Kinetic energy of the electrons can be increased by increasing on the potential, on the high potential, or increasing on the external high potential. So once the high potential is increased, that means that the kinetic energy of the electrons also increase because the high potential, its purpose is to accelerate the electrons that are, mean, are being heated. So when those electrons are accelerated, that means that their kinetic energy increase, increases, meaning that on hitting the metal target, we expect the intensity also, the intensity of the X-rays also to increase, also to increase. So this is the high potential I'm talking about. Once it is increased, uh, the kinetic energy of the electrons also increases, which increases the intensity of the X-rays after uh, the electrons hitting the metal target. Okay, any question members? Any question? Have you gone for yeah. lunch? Have you gone for lunch? No. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. So uh, what do we call, what do, we, what do you understand by the term penetrating power? penetrating power so just know that sometimes x-rays can be used to study for example the can i give you an example the sex of the unborn baby hmm? mm. hey, like you uh like you leticia leticia online hey, like you leticia mm. before coming on earth they first studied hmm? uh what is the sex of our baby I, I, that's first you can see hey. Is it a boy? Because when you're still in the womb, you are eight. Do you know that? Is it a boy or it is a girl? Uh, uh, let us first go to the hospital and check. And then they exposed your mom to the x-rays. Now, the x-rays that they exposed to your mom were soft x-rays. Were soft x-rays. So what are soft x-rays and what are hard x-rays? Hard x-rays and soft x-rays, these are the types of x-rays and we shall look at them. But before looking at them, let us understand the penetrating power because the penetrating power is what defines the soft x-rays or the hard x-rays. I repeat, if you understand what penetrating power is, then you are in good position to define what soft x-rays are and what hard x-rays are. So penetrating power, the penetrating quality of x-rays increases with the applied voltage. X-rays of low frequency or low penetrating power are called soft x-rays and are produced when a low voltage is applied across the tube. Remember, this external voltage I'm talking about, this external voltage. If this external voltage is low, the x-rays that are produced are what we call soft x-rays so soft x-rays these are soft these are x-rays that are produced when the when the applied voltage is low and these soft x-rays have a low frequency and have a low penetrating power the word penetrating is what we mean x-rays being uh, having ability to go through something you should know that x-rays can go through you can go through that wall that is in your house that they can go through that wall very well and you, they can go through and they reach the other side because that wall is just a piece of soil and what so x-rays that are soft cannot go through hard things they cannot go through that piece of wood they cannot go through 
uh, the bones. So that's why soft x-rays are used. Maybe if they want to study the sex of the unborn baby, because they have low penetrating power. Uh -huh. And also what you should know is that the x-rays which are produced when there is a high voltage eh, that is applied, those x-rays that are produced when there's a high voltage applied, those x-rays are what we call the hard x-rays. And they have a high frequency, they have a high penetrating power. So they, they are the ones which are most dangerous. If you are exposed to those ones, they can cause what we call cell mutation. Cell mutation, where they can change your cell, your DNA. Hmm? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know that a cell is the simplest uh, part of life, isn't it? Yes. The simplest. A cell is the simplest. So once they touch on the cells, uh, that's why this corona can affect us because it touches on, on the cells of our bodies. So if those X-rays touch on the cells of our bodies, they change the cell that is used to produce red blood cells, it may start producing other things because x-rays those hard x-rays have penetrated so that's why when they are exposing people to hard oh. x-rays they expose those people to hard x-rays in the shortest time in the shortest time as possible are we members who's that one yawning cynthia so let me ask you questions Okay, now let us first chat a bit because I think the lesson has been too long and it's already lunch time. That is a sign of saying we want to eat. Okay. Uh, so let me ask some people questions here. Wendy. But I know yes. Wendy, Wendy cannot yawn. It was Kabami who was yawning. Leticia. Yes. Can you give me one property about uh, hard x rays? Why do you know about hard x-rays? One characteristic about hard x-rays? They have a high penetrating power. Correct, correct. And Wendy, give me one. High frequency. They have a high frequency. And Sherry. Yes, teacher. How are hard x-rays produced? When there's when the when there's a high voltage. Uh -huh. When there's a high voltage that is applied, and this high voltage accelerates the electrons towards the metal target. You guys, that is very good. You are following. You are following. Now let us. We have to finish this lesson, members. So what's what are soft X-rays? Soft X-rays. They are saying that are X-rays of low penetrating power. That's number one of low frequency and long wave, wavelength. Low frequency and long wavelength. Uh -huh. Produced when low accelerating PD is applied to the X-ray tube. Those are the soft X-rays. Low penetrating power, low frequency and long wavelength. Now, what do they mean by long wavelength? Oh, uh, let me first Google something here. Let me first show you something here from the video. Uh, if I go to YouTube and I type in electromagnetic spectrum, electromagnetic spectrum. Mm -hmm. So this is what we call the electromagnetic spectrum, this one here. Not this one. Members, don't look at this word. I noticed time. Unless some of you are hungry. I don't yeah. I don't know why Jumia enters my lesson, but let us see. So this, gen this uh, lady is asking you, what is an electromagnetic spectrum? So electromagnetic spectrum has got very many radiations. Most of them come from the sun. 
Most of them cannot be seen. Most of them travel very fast, have a high frequency, have a wavelength. And that's what we call the wavelength. So you see, these are, this is what we call a wave. Have you ever seen people dancing wave? Huh? Cynthia? Yes. Hey, you know how to dance wave, isn't it? I saw you last time, eh? So this is a wave. Even that's how waves are. So there's this distance from here up to here. That's what we call the wavelength. So if, uh, if the wave, let me do this. If the wave has got, a, let me show you something here. Using my, if this is the wave like this, this wave has got wavelength. That's what we call wavelength. It's, called, it's noted like that, wavelength. But is, if this wave is like this, uh, like this, hmm? mm. this wave also has wavelength like that. So a wave like this has a long wavelength and a wave like this has a short wave, wavelength. Now, waves that are, waves which are like this have a high free, Frequency. Frequency. They have, if it is an X-ray, then it has high penetrating what? Power. High penetrating power. Waves which are like this have a high frequency. And what you should know is that they have shortest, shortest wavelength, short wavelength, not shortest, but short wavelength, short wavelength. So normally X-rays, these are what we call the hard X-rays. That's how they appear. That's how their wave looks like. But these are the soft X-rays. That's how they appear. So for the soft X-rays, they have long wavelength, long wavelength, and they have low frequency, and they also have low penetrating, penetrating power. So let us look at this. So these are the radio waves. Radio waves have long wavelength. These are radio waves from the station. Then we have microwaves. Their wavelength keeps on, you see, it, it keeps on reducing as we are moving. For example, all those things use microwaves. So infrared comes from the sun. Remember, as we shall look at this, I don't know whether I want to study electromagnetic spectrum, but these are all interesting things. So this is, this is where we have the uh, invisible spectrum, and these are the, this is light, which you can see. You can see yellow light, you can see green light. These ones you can see with our eyes. But other rays, we cannot, we cannot see radio waves, we cannot see microwaves, we cannot see infrared, but we can see visible light. Now you see the wavelength has reduced. You see now it is tending to, the moment we keep on moving towards this side, this side we have waves that have short wavelength. So, Ultraviolet light comes from the sun and sometimes causes sunburns. Then these are the X-rays. So they are used for, uh -huh. now this is the police checkpoint and here they use X-rays to study what is inside these bags. So these bags are exposed to X-rays and they can see what is inside. Now I'm giving you importances of X-rays. So the last one is what we call the gamma rays and the cosmic rays. These are the most dangerous and if you're exposed to them, you may even die. Die, die, die. Okay. Any question? For me, I want to end the lesson here and we call it a day. How do you see? Do you still want to see this lady? I don't think so. I have a question. Yes, ask. How are gamma rays useful? Gamma rays, eh? 
Yes. Uh, gamma rays are used for, they're also used to treat uh, the cancerous cells. If you have cancer, they can use gamma rays, but also gamma rays are used to also uh, study the leakages in pipes. For example, there are some pipes that carry oil under the ground. So what they do is they put an element that produces gamma rays. When I talk about elements, you go back to your chemistry, there are very many elements. One of the elements they use is uranium or they can use polonium and they put it in the, in, the, in the pipe that is carrying the oil. Now, they use what we call a GM tube. We shall look at it later on, a GM tube, and that GM tube can detect, they can detect where the leakage of the pipe is. So it is, uh, X-rays also, uh, I mean, gamma rays can also be used to study the cracks inside, inside uh, the cracks inside the walls. Uh, if you have a big wall, those people who construct and there is a wall, but there is a crack inside, they can use gamma rays. Uh, also, gamma rays can be used to, uh, they can also be used to as pests, they can be used as pesticides uh, to kill pests and what and what, all those things. So there are very many things. Yeah. They, also, they are also used to study the crystalline structure of different elements, for example, diamond, and you study the crystalline structure of diamond or other elements. Uh, so, Leticia, Leticia, yes. don't worry. The physics, yes. the physics has just started. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I just started. We shall look at all those things. I've just given you a clip of what we call of what we call the electromagnetic waves but we shall go deep in details and study each property, each property, its purpose. Now, members, next time when we meet, we shall look at the properties of X-rays and I will show you all the things which are here, how they ionize glasses, how photographic film, zik what. And we shall also go ahead and look at the dangers of X-rays, how they destroy cells, cell mutation, damage the eye, and safety precautions, and also the uses in hospitals, uh, to treat tuberculosis, to detect ulcers, all those are uses. And how can you locate a broken part of your bone using X-rays? Shall look at that. Industrial uses. X-rays are also used in crystallography, that is studying the crystalline structure of the elements using X-ray diffractions. Ah, by the time you finish senior six, you'll be able to understand what X-ray diffraction is meaning when you are studying physics. And also security, we have seen uh, the police check when they are checking those people. Later on, we shall be able to differentiate between cathode rays and x-rays. Oh, so members. Mm? Mm? Yes. Yes, teacher. So that story will continue. I would like to end here for today. Mm. Okay, so uh, when did you have the notes? No. Hey, okay, Wendy. You go to the website, go to the website. We have only one minute, go to the website. And once you go to the website, go under resources and download the book called Ordinary Physics by Kent. Are you listening? You go to resources here and then notes and exercise. Then you download the book called Ordinary Physics by Kent. Okay? Yes. Yes, and those are the notes we are using. So you can type in physics. This book here, this one. It's done. Okay, members. I'd like to end here. Have a nice day. And revise and revise and you pass. Bye bye.